Welcome to Wednesday Night Hockey presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Here in Boston, they do it again. The Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins. Time for tonight's Honda starting goaltenders. For the Montreal Canadiens, it's Carey Price. His 48th appearance of the season, most of any goaltender in the NHL. Tuka Rask on the other side, number one in goals against average, second in terms of save percentage. 927 times if you include the playoffs. The Bruins have won two of three this season. Philip Dano, Sean Corrales on the draw. Sit back and enjoy this original six matchup from Boston. Off the faceoff, Joachim Nordstrom had it, lost it. Jeff Petrie sets up Philip Dano. He'll clear it all the way back in the Boston zone. Tomas Tatar enjoying a 20-goal season. Joachim Nordstrom cut off by Brendan Gallagher. Slowly in on Rask, a little handoff here for Charlie McAvoy, and the Bruins are out to center. Chris Wagner will clear it in. Terry Price, 48th appearance of the season that leads the NHL in that regard. Play is whistled dead, and we get a stoppage. The Bruins are clean through center. Anders Bjork stops, looks around. Threads it all the way across. Charlie Coyle shut down by Price. That's a great job by Anders Lee, creating some time and space so he could move that puck over to Charlie Coyle coming off the bench. Charlie Coyle with the hot stick just can't fool. Carey Price short side, Mike, but a great opportunity for the Bruins. Oh, well, sure does have a good opportunity there. Coyle's got some plenty of opportunities. There's more with one shot. Rebound pretty much out of the way, but you can see that Coyle always gets open. Just like to see a guy like that finish a little more often. But isn't he slotted perfect here in Boston and Minnesota? They try to play him as a first and second line guy. He was playing more as a third line guy. And he's really thriving, I think. And they've, they've tried him here in different situations, but. Rebound chance for Hyman a couple of times on Price. Another scoring chance initiated by Anders Bjork. Charlie Coyle lays it off the boards. John, at least you got his name right. I said Anders Lee, wrong city. My apologies. <laughs> Brandon Carlo, that's okay, Pierre. We had a little mix-up in our NHL line bit, too, but you were up here for a moment. Now, Scandella out to center. But Mike took care of that. Nick yes, Cousins. I, know. I was the one with the hair. <laughs> moved in. We're off to a good start along the boards now. Nate Thompson moves it up top. Victor Mete had two goals against Boston on November 5th in Montreal. Game won by the Canadians 5-4. That was the first one. Charlie Coyle now. We'll swing it back, and the Bruins will start a breakout. Austin has five of the first six shots so far. Max Domi coming all the way back. A regroup for the Canadians, broken up by Pasternak, just out of the reach of Marshawn, right out in front. Bruce Cassie really aware with his matchups right now. This is what he wants for this top line. David Pasternak cuts in, a power move, and he powers right into Price, who holds his ground, and Victor Mete will wind it up for the Canadians. Mete through center out of the reach of Druan. It comes down, he did not gain center, so icing is called here. Well, there's no fear in this guy's game, and uh, he, he's a great dresser and a great player. Watch this, go right to the front of the net. Can't make the move in a little bit too tight, and he forces the turnover here. Much more zip in the Bruins stride in this game than it was in Detroit, very noticeable. Marchand will turn it back. Dory Krug denied ice by Jonathan Druin. He gave it away. Marshawn, little dangle through the slot. Pasternak scores! You certainly don't want to give these guys the perfection line any opportunities, but this one is a flat out giveaway right on the tape of Marshawn. Dipsy doodles through a couple Canadians. They lose coverage in front of the net, and Postonok is not going to miss this. It's four by six, wide open. What a play by Brad Marshawn. A spectacular human highlight real play. Petrie looking at the puck rather than the man, and what a feed for Marshawn over to the wide open Postonok. He's not going to make any mistake there. Bruins cover it well through the middle. The Canadians pitch it in. Arturi Lekkinen canceled by Anders Bjork. Domi to Chirot at the point. And the clean look, it goes wide. 
Great effort by Corrales to deflect that puck high and wide, Johnny. Now Tori Krug. Here's a chance in front, like an in denied again. A sharp stop by Tukaraz. Best chance by by far. Bruins get caught leaving the front of the net unattended, and they almost pay for it. Like it in over the line. He'll wind it deep. Partial change for the Canadians. Jake Evans will slide it around. Here's Scandella. Evans in back of the goal. Flushed out a bit by Matt Grizzlick. He'll fan on a pass, then hand it off to Nate Thompson all the way back. Xavier Willett. Moved along by Cousins. Thompson spins off Grizzly. He'll assert. Good recovery on the back check by Charlie Coyle. Now Nick Cousins will wind it out. Low to high. Willett. Off the stick of Denton Heinen. In play. Bjork's on it. He'll scoop it ahead. The Canadians attempt to trap the zone. It's brought out. And the Bruins now will start again with 16 minutes gone in period one. Much better jump there from the Canadians. That one chance gave him a little bit of confidence to go for it. Nick Suzuki in front off the stick of Rask with Armia lurking. He attempts a centering pass. Yoel Armia back of the goal, supported by Suzuki. Just look out to center for Pasternak. Cross corner dump in. Marshawn will get to it. Taken care of by Jeff Petrie. Nick Suzuki, Marshawn, and Petrie. Say hello. That's going to be Marshawn. I've got a spear right there. Here we go. Uh, yeah. This is uh, interesting. This is the way you can expect Marshawn to play most of the time. People enjoy it here, clearly. Uh, and we'll see how this gets started. There's Martian in on the forecheck. Petri throws him up against the glass. Martian doesn't like it. A little back and forth, cross check, slash across the back of the leg. Then the spare to the abdomen, cross check, face rake, and punches. That's just like vegetable soup for me. <laughs> <laughs> he did it all. The igniter for the Canadians. It's Tatar through the slot. He goes wide. Petri, he'll delay too long. John Pirelli, partial two on one with Pasternak for the front. There he is! What a goal! Wow. My goodness, what a goal by David Pasternak, number 40. I don't think Jeff Petrie is going to have fond memories of this game or David Pasternak. Watch here as Pasternak picks his pocket from behind Pirelli. Picks it up in good speed through the neutral zone. Right there, they're off to the races. Montreal working hard to get back into play. But what a feed here, and what a finish by David Kostelnok. That is a thing of beauty. Corelli pulls up, avoids the stick check, and then no chance for Kostelnok. You see Kostelnok staying on side, Mike. He made a brilliant play. He slowed down just enough to stay on side. And then the composure at the end of a long shift just to go roof daddy on Carey Price. McAvoy pressed a bit by Suzuki. Chris Wagner pitching down Willette. And off the official, Chara now double teamed by Armia who lost his stick. Nick Suzuki centering pass denied. Suzuki works it low to high. Here's Scandella. No wrist and they score! It pinballs out in front. Nick Suzuki was there. Marco Scandella with the shot. And the Canadians cut the lead in half. Marco Scandella scored a huge, huge goal for the Canes on Saturday night in their win versus Toronto. That was his first goal, a native of Montreal. Watch Suzuki behind the net, stay with the puck, get it back to Scandella. He's going to walk the line, opening up a shooting avenue. And does that pinball off Suzuki? Absolutely, it does, John. Off his hip. Great job by Scandella, walking line right there. Pinballs off Suzuki. He started the play and he finished the play. He sure did, but the, the walk across the line changes the angle, allows him to find a seam, and the Bruins aren't able to bo box out. Charlie Moore gets beat back to the front of the net, and Suzuki uses a hip check of a different form. Bergeron right there. Jailbreak for Boston. Pasternak, Marchand, and escapes. Pasternak try to wrap around. Now getting to it, Jake Evans. He'll deal it back. Petrie moves it across. Under eight minutes left here in the second. 
Jake Evans, the rookie, pulls up. Lines it in back of the goal. Nick Cousins looks at the slot. There's Evans, but it was in his skates. Second chance thwarted. Thompson, one-timer Petrie, blocked by Coyle. Cousins moves it, rejected by Crew, held in by Petrie. Cousins, Thompson, what a block by Tory Crew. And he's stung by it. As Coyle skates it out. We'll go to the corner. Four man scrum. Danton Heinen takes off Kulak. Chips. He's supported by Bjork. Anders Bjork to the point. McAvoy blocked. Knocked out of midair by Dano with a high stick if he touches it. They blow it dead. Four on three, 65 seconds left in it. Tori Krugel, quarterback through. Lay it along for Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron back for Pasternak, who has two goals tonight. Krug, hammer chance, Price got across, March on the score, and the rebound! David Pasternak with his fourth hat trick of the season. 41 as the Habs cascade down the Bruins have a 3-1 lead. This one will put David Pasternak back in the lead. Tori Krug here with a pass. Marchand tries to fire it on goal. An inadvertent clear by, guess who? Jeff Petrie pops right over here to Pasternak. And Pasternak deposited it underneath Gary Price before he can reset. Boy, the dynamic of that power play. I know it's four on three, but just to set up Bergeron quarterback and it down low, he was basically telling guys where to go and watch his skate come out, kick it to keep the play alive. And Pasternak jumps on the loose change. The little subtle play with the foot of Bergeron right there. That gets the puck over to Pasternak and he puts it home. Crew. Pasternak denied again by Carey Price. Leckinen. Back out. Three shots. Marsha, <clears throat> Marsha and Pasternak. Crew go. One minute and 45 seconds that power play. I guess they got the green light from the coach. No question. I'm <laughs> crazy. Good retrieval, Heinen now. Coyle does the same. He was hurried without a stick by Armia. Heinen taken down by Joel Armia. Back it goes McAvoy. Wrist shot, tipped. Price got a pad to it. A high tip by Krejci. Comes all the way down. Domi's in, cleaned up by Rask. Forced by Max Domi. Breslick accelerates through center. Lays it along for Krejci. Interrupted by Ouellette. Breslick out of the corner. To the slot, what a save by Price as he robs Danton Heinen. And the assistance to Claude Julian off the draw, comes back. Kovalchuk, his shot goes high. 39 seconds left. Tatar, Duran, blocked by Chara. Pasternak floats it. A chance just wide. Now Duran out of the corner, 22 seconds left. A feed for Bergeron. The final touch. 4-1 Boston. Patrice Bergeron. Well, it started with a heads-up play by David Pasternak. It led to a four-check opportunity. A good job by Pasternak. Marshan gets it out front, and Patrice Bergeron, the high man, jumps in because he knows the Bruins are about to ice this one up, and they do. Brad Marchand has three assists tonight. Bergeron with his 24th goal. And more happy times here at TD Garden. It's been a season of that. Tuka Rask will continue his dominance at home, unbeaten in regulation. We'll go to 13-0-6 here. Five seconds left. Stifling defense by the Bruins in this third period. Their 35th victory 
They have allowed six goals in their last five home games. The hat trick for David Pasternak and a 4-1 win over Montreal.